You might have heard in the news lately that computer programming jobs are going away in the near future. Programmers are no longer going to be needed and software will be used to write other software. Today, I wanted to explore that idea by using Python to write a program that writes another program. I guess we'll start with the simplest program that I can think of, which is print hello world. I'm going to import OS so that we can put the hello world program in the same directory as this file. Then we just open in write mode. And write print hello world. We just need to use backslashes to escape the single quotes. Close the file. Okay, easy as that. We can run this, and there, the new file that it wrote popped up on the side, and when we open that up and press run, it prints hello world, as we'd expect. I'll never have to write a hello world program again. So there we have it, conclusive proof that programmers will no longer be needed, and programs are in fact going to write their own programs. But wait, who's going to write those programs? That Hello World program writing program was a little easy. Let's get even more meta and write a program that writes the program that I just wrote. We are coding code that codes code. That's not confusing. So it's pretty much the same as last time, except the argument inside the write method is going to be everything that we just wrote. Fuck, this is confusing. What am I doing? Okay, I think that's it. Delete these. We'll just press run and... Ah, oh, not quite. We need to get the escape keys into this file somehow. I think if I just add another backslash here, what does that do? Ah, oh, fuck it, that was the wrong spot. Oh, wait, I can use double quotes. Okay, here we go. And when we run this, there it is. Everything looks good here. There it is. Hello world. Uh, what am I doing with my life? What you're about to see is a Channel 4 News exclusive. His name is Nutty the Squirrel, and he's three years old.